We've all seen one meme about Zubat at least, and we have a chuckle about how it's true. But if you think about it, does Zubat really deserve it? I think it's common knowledge now that Zubats in caves are everywhere, and on the Pokemon internet community, it gets a lot of hate. Sometimes even people putting it down as the worst Pokemon, or at least the most hated Pokemon ever made. But I'm here to tell you guys that Zubat does not deserve any of this. In this video, I'm here to tell you exactly why. Hey guys, this is Mastrath, and this is why Zubat does not deserve the hate it gets. First off, I'd like to say, I love Zubat. I love Zubat, I love Golbat, I love Crobat. I mean, hell, I used a Crobat in my Pokemon Pearl Let's Play, which is uh, <clears throat> on the first page of YouTube if you type in Pokemon Pearl. Uh, plug in the side. And even in Pokemon Go, my Golbat's doing fairly well. So first, let's look at the things that made Garbodor and Vanillux Pokemon to hate. The aesthetics, the looks, if you will, of Zubat. It looks like a bat, so they hit the mark, I guess. In a poll done on Reddit this year, Crobat came 27th in the most popular Pokemon of all time, higher than Pokemon like Eevee, Lapras, and Snorlax. Hell, it even beat Pikachu! So why do people love Crobat, but hate Zubat? That's like you admiring your favorite sports player or singer, but when they were a child you wanted to hit them in the face with a wrench! It makes no sense that Crobat gets so much love, but Zubat gets so much hate. But we're about to get into the nitty gritty of why people hate Zubat. Zubats are commonly found in caves, and when they said commonly found in caves, they mean commonly found. To the point you may have a string of five or six Zubat battles before you get to something else. This is the reason why people hate Zubat. They walk into a cave, and they're bombarded by nothing but Zubats. But that's not true. And they know that's not true. But I'm here to tell you guys that if you hate Zubat, Oh, you must hate this Pokemon, Tentacool. Now some of you are thinking, what the hell's wrong with Tentacool? It's an awesome Pokemon! Or is it? Most of the characteristics you find in Zubat, you also find in Tentacools, but not many people seem to speak up about it. But some of these characteristics are worse with Tentacool as they are with Zubat. Let me explain. The first time you would normally come across a Zubat in Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow is Mount Moon. And while you want to get that Clefairy, that Paris, or that Geodude you want, in Pokemon Red and Blue, Zubat turns up 79% of the time on the first floor, with 75% happening in Pokemon Yellow. Now, three quarters is a big amount, but we go to Tentacle. Usually the first time you'll see Tentacle is surfing, usually either Route 19 or Route 21. And pray tell, what is the encounter rate for a tentacle while surfing? 100% of the time. 100% of the time, you're always gonna get a tentacle. Every single time, you're gonna get a bloody tentacle while you're surfing. Now some of you may be saying, Oh, but wait a minute. You could use an old rod or a good rod or a super rod to get different Pokemon, which makes Zubat a much worse Pokemon. That may be true, but cast your mind back. There is no cave rod, let's say, to get the rarer Pokemon. Plus, if you're still trying to get a water type Pokemon for your team at that stage of the game, you're playing Pokemon wrong. Seriously, you've had loads of different choices. You could have started out with Squirtle. You could have bought that Magikarp for 500 Poké Dollars and evolved it by now. You could have evolved your Eevee into a Vaporeon. You could have got the Lapras from the Silphco building. You could wait till you get to Cinnabar Island and use one of the fossils. Hell, there are many water routes that you can go on and use your Super Rod to get that Poliwag or that Horsey or that Star You or that Shelder you want. And if you're playing Pokémon Yellow, if you're using the best rod, the Super Rod, there's still a 60% chance of getting tentacles. And to be honest, there are probably the same amount of routes that you'll need to walk via cave system than there are having to surf. So that's the first thing done. There are two more things that people hate Zubats for. So let's plow straight through both of them and pretty much show that tentacle is still worse. When you're in a battle with Zubat, you can't run away. Well, well done for having a slow Pokemon. Zubat's base speed is 55. Granted, it's the highest of its stats. But which Pokemon comes in with a whopping 70 speed? Tentacool. 
If you go up against a Zubat and a Tentacool at the same level, chances are the Tentacool has more speed, meaning there's less chance for you to escape a Tentacool than a Zubat. And last but not least, when you're fighting a Zubat, it's a pain in the ass. Air with its supersonics and confusion! Need I remind you that Tentacool can also use supersonic and confuse you. But do you know what's worse? Tentacle can poison you too. Yeah, Poison Sting! If not the weakest poison move in the game, and it can still get you. Plus, I've added everything else up, Zubat is way weaker, it's got way less base stats than a Tentacle, and it's weak to one more type. And people say Zubat's only nice thing is that it evolved in the Crobat. Do I see Tentacruel on this top list? So there you have it, folks. Does Zubat really deserve the hate it gets? Hell, does Tentacle deserve any hate? Leave your opinions down in the comment section, and we can discuss this and argue immensely. But just remember, folks, it's nearly a month till Christmas, and we may all be playing our old Pokemon games again. So when you come across that first Zubat, just remember, the tentacle is technically way more annoying. So give your Zubats the love and the admiration that they deserve. Because remember, does a tentacle evolve with friendship? I'll see you for my next video, guys. See you then. <laughs>